Back to our first alert weather right now. Let's take a live look right now at the Pacific up here. You can see those Ooh, waves wow. are just hitting and coming ashore. Let's check back in with meteorologist Jessica Birch. It's uh, pretty to see, but that does a lot of damage out there. Absolutely. And you know, it is a first alert weather day here in the Bay Area for a variety of reasons. The National Weather Service has advised us about a wind advisory. You know, we had that flood watch still in effect for the next two days and that high surf warning just along our coastline. Now, as we take a look at our first alert Doppler, it paints a perfect picture as to what's going on outside right now. For the most part, we're just seeing light rain move its way in from offshore. But see this yellow right here? There's some isolated heavier pockets of rain at times. And if you do get hit with one of those, of course, localized flooding is a concern for us as we head into the afternoon and evening hours tonight night. Right now we're starting to see it kick up just a little bit more along the peninsula for our friends near Pacifica and Half Moon Bay all the way up into San Francisco near Ocean, Ocean Beach. We're actually going to see it kick up within the next two to three hours, especially along the peninsula, moving its way off into the East Bay. Now we watch the storm continue to move in from offshore with some gusty conditions too. I mentioned it earlier, we're under that wind advisory, but we can see wind speeds anywhere up to around 40 to 50 miles per hour into this afternoon. That's going to linger into the overnight hours tonight as well as the storm, and we see it continue into our early morning hours tomorrow. Tomorrow. So tomorrow morning's commute, as many of us are getting off that three day weekend, it's going to be a little hectic out there, especially on the road. So take it slow and that'll be the case into the afternoon hours tomorrow. Luckily, the storm will slowly start to lose its energy as we head into our Wednesday and Thursday forecasts, leaving us with drier conditions to kick off mid portions of this week. But that same storm is impacting our friends up in the Sierra, too, and they're actually under a winter storm warning that's going to last until Wednesday. And those highest peaks can see anywhere up to around three to four feet of snow. If you are planning on heading up there this week, keep that in mind. Wind gusts right now anywhere up to around 55 miles per hour up there. That could cause a lot of issues getting to and from, so keep the chains handy for the cars. Back here in the bay, though, more mild conditions, at least when it comes to what's, to, what's right around the corner. Like I mentioned, Wednesday and Thursday, that's when we're going to get that much-needed dry break. But once we head into this weekend, more unsettled weather returns into the forecast for us. So we're seeing 60s all throughout the week this week. We have those dry days ahead of us, Wednesday and Thursday. Perfect days to get out there, get some fresh air, check out the trail you wanted to go to. Friday, same trend. It's a little bit more cloudy, and then we gear up for more heavy showers rolling in this weekend. Keep that in mind if you had outdoor plans, or maybe that was the weekend you were thinking of heading up to the Sierra Tahoe area. We'll have more on that in a bit. For now, back to you. All right, thanks, Jess. Well, the wet weather is shutting down some Bay Area attractions this President's Day holiday. The Oakland Zoo and Six Flags Discovery Kingdom of Vallejo are closed in San Francisco. The Botanical Garden, along with the Japanese Tea Garden and the Conservatory of Flowers. San Mateo County has closed several parks and trails, including Quarry Park and the Fitzgerald Marine Reserve.